All right. This video, we're going to get into right into an investigation. I'm going to take it down to amateur difficulty, which is more or less the easiest, where you can still get rewards. Um, you got your basic equipment. Can't lose that. You will always be able to put an investigation with this equipment. There's a video camera, dots projector, meth reader, flashlight, ghost writing book, spirit box, a UV light, and a photo camera. Um, everything but the flashlight and the photo camera is used to gather evidence. So, uh, going left, we're going to pick Englewood Drive. Um, recommend staying with that for a while, but if you want to move on to something a little different, game, Willow Street, and then from there, Edgefield and Ridgeview. Um, you can start on those, but there's some more rooms, and there's actually a second floor on those, so it gets a little more complicated. Single player, so I can pick everything off for myself. Pick a model, ready up, and start up. <clears throat> okay, we've loaded in the truck. Um, this may take longer for you than for me. Multiplayer, it may take longer. Okay, narrator voice is flavor text. Stuff on the build, uh, the board up here is flavor text. Um, set up time from when we actually open the front door, it'll start counting down. We have this set up time here. Until it reaches zero, um, you'll be safe from hunts. Um, this time does go through quickly, and at higher difficulty, you won't even have that. Computer monitor, uh, link to the cameras, any that we deploy, and any that's on the site. On Tanglewood, it's just a front door camera, which usually doesn't give you much information. Um, go over here, daily and weekly tests. We're not going to worry about those for now. Uh, the ghost's name. Uh, I come up with some interesting, goofy names. This is Thomas Thompson. And it says, response to everybody. Response to doesn't mean anything in single player, because you're alone. So everyone or people who are alone, not going to matter. But if you get into multiplayer, keep that in mind. Um, the spirit box may not work. Uh, if it says respond, you know, people are alone, oh, everybody else leaves the, um, that room. Um, then we've got our three objectives. The fourth objective is always to determine the ghost type. Cleanse the area near the ghost smudge sticks. We don't have those. Escape ghosts during a hunt. We can do that. And repel the ghost with a smudge stick by chasing someone. We can't do that. So we're only going to be able to do Because we've only brought the starting items only. Um, so, starting out, I grab a light source, which is the flashlight, also known as the flashlight. There's a strong flashlight. I think, personally, the Winx flashlight is fine enough for small locations. But the UV light can also be used as a light source, and night vision on the video camera can be as well. So if you have a team of three people, everybody could go in a way to get around in the dark. Um... I usually go in with a photo camera. Um, my advice in multiplayer, uh, whoever is given the photo camera should also be given a flashlight, potentially, or at least some light source so they can see stuff to take photos of. Photos get us money. Uh, each camera allows for five photos. I'm also going to start in with EMF reader, um, pick up uh, ghost, inter ghost interactions, give off an EMF uh, signature. Um, the meter will give a local one, and the total activity is all of the combined EMF of the location, um, which may lead to some crazy numbers. You'll notice it goes up to 10. 10 could be a hunt, or 10 could be a combination of, say, a 5, a 3, and a 2, something. Um, the meter will normally only go up to 4, but there are types of ghosts that will give off a level 5 sometimes, which is one of the evidence. Got a map of the location green icon to indicate power box. Um, if it's multiplayer and other people in the location, you'll actually see dots of them going around the map. Arrows here give the locations, Team Sanity. It's only me, so the average is uh, just me. Team Sanity is the one stat that players have in this game so far. Um, and if it gets the lower it goes, more ghosts, there might be more ghost activity, interaction events. And under certain levels of sanity, depending on what ghost type it is, they can hunt you. Um, 
good chunk of the ghosts have to wait to let averages under 50. However, some ghosts can hunt sooner or later than that. Um, and yeah, you get to learn which ones are. The demon is the most dangerous. It could literally hunt you at any point. That setup time over there does protect you. Um, so on amateur, we'll have five. It won't be able to start anything for five minutes. Which does not start. We open the front door. Not the truck and not the truck door. So you have as much time to get set up and ready to go in test settings as you want. Or you really have to start the investigation. So, got our equipment, you know the name. Um, let's kind of get into it. Uh, here's the key. Go to the front door. Click on the keypad to open the truck. Go outside, we can see what weather. I think this is cloudy. Or no weather, I'm not sure. Um, that affects some of the starting temperatures inside the house, which we'll get into later. Unlock. Okay, the clock has started. Turning on a light. Driving that key. That's a key to car in case we have to deal with the garage. Okay, turning on lights in the foyer. Taking a look around. We're going to be looking for two things. Bone and a cursed possession. Uh, most of the time, there'll be one of each. Okay, boys' rooms clear. Bathroom uh, there. Tree. Get your ears out. No, no music box. Um, there's a hiding spot here. Nursery. Uh, ghost hunts you. That's the one time it can kill you. Um, there's hiding spots which will help, but it can hear, and it can detect electronics. We'll get into that in a later. But I, I heard some kind of... Oh, okay, so very possible in the boys' room. Oh, Alright. Um, an amateur, it will never change its favorite room. Most of the evidence has to be gathered from the favorite room, and you can't hide from the ghost favorite. Oh, just turned off the breaker. That could be a potential tell. So I believe. Oh, and we found the bone. So take a picture of it. Pick it up. All right, that part's done. So let's go turn the power back on. Oh, there we go power box. Open it up. Button. Oh, so, no voodoo doll. There's an open locker in the garage like behind him. I'm assuming it's in the room. So. Oh, yep. Get used to the maps. You'll know potentially from certain sounds where it is. So there's a radio in the boys' bedroom. I'm still looking locations. No monkey paw. No. Checking out for Chris. Now. now, keeping in mind when you're in the dark, you have a passive sanity drain. Um, slowly eat away at your sanity, which is why I keep turning on the lights. Go summoning circle here. Ah, alright, we got the Ouija board. That's a fun thing to play with. Um, but I'm not gonna bother this time around. Um, and the hiding spot in the basement. Okay. It's two different places we can go. Now I'm turning off the lights that go because too many lights will overload the breaker and cause it to shut off. So the ghost could shut off the breaker directly or it could turn on enough lights that it does that on there. Ooh, EMF 5. We got our first bit of evidence. I'm gonna turn off the radio. So it's almost certainly in this room. So I'm gonna drop stuff. Get more equipment. We've already got our first evidence. Oh, Looking up here, you'll notice there is a line at five, so that was at five. And there was some more stuff to make a nine. That's total. All right, we haven't had much sandy drain. We're at 93%. So, um, here. Um, should go over the ghosts. There's 24 ghosts when this game started. There's only 12. Each one has a unique combination of three evidences. I've already figured out one, EMF level 5. Just the page will also tell you the ghost strength and weakness. A lot of this information is just flavor text. Um, like the Wraith one says it can go through walls, but it, it really 
can't. Um, the only thing about a wraith is that it can't be tracked by salt, footsteps to the salt, but we don't have salt, so that's important. Um, certain things like the demon has can initiate hunts more often than ghosts, and it all and it can start them earlier. The demon's probably the most dangerous ghost type, and it's a random ghost. So we already know from evidence the MF5. This is cut it down by quite a bit. Instead of 24, we got one, five, six, seven, nine, ten. Ghosts it could be. Um, knowing ghosts, the most dangerous of this stuff might be the Raichu. Um, I doubt it's a shade. But I get an idea of, of things from... The ghosts have tells in addition to the evidences. Things to look out for. So, alright, so we've got that. So we're going to go back in with stuff. UV light, um, ferret box, and yeah. uh, video camera. So UV light will let us determine if it's leaving fingerprints. Won't leave fingerprints if not a fingerprints ghost. Okay. Alright, so I'm not seeing anything now, but the fingerprints do disappear. So you have to keep that in mind. Alright, I'm gonna put out the video camera. Turn off the lights and try Where are you? How old are you? Why are you angry? Where are you? How old are you? Why are you angry? Okay, so we're not getting that, but we are got saw our breath there. It means it's freezing. Eight like that. So we can narrow it down further. Chin, shade, only our twins. Okay. Nothing supremely dangerous in that. But I'm doubting it's the shade because the shades are very quiet and sandy starts to go down. Okay. That was two from that. Let's look at the word. Nothing, so I'm kind of doubting a fingerprints ghost. So, alright, well, let's try to find our third evidence. Now, I believe it turned the power out of the box, so that's probably not a chin, probably not a shade. So, twins or oni is my, my guess. Um, Sandy's down to about 90%. Not bad, we're fine. None of the ghosts we have are done it down to or early on. So we're pretty safe. Let's grab the last two pieces. Thoughts. Book. Oh, I forgot to turn the uh, uh, the lights off in the boys' book for orbs. You can technically see the orbs. Um, you only see the orbs in night vision. Technically you can see them when the light's on, but it's a lot better to turn them off. So I'm putting down a book. And I'm putting down a dots. Turning the power off. Going back out to the truck. Oh! Oh! That was a jump scare. Oh, it's just blowing the lights in this room so we can never turn them on. So, let's look through the video camera. We see anything. The angle's kind of bad. Orbs can be notoriously. Oh, okay, so we saw a dot, so we've already got the thing. It's an Oni. Alright, so determine the ghost. Um, then the going on to the page on the ghost about the Oni. Um, they're very active when people are nearby and drain fast, uh, drain the sandy faster when they appear. Um, and then, of course, when they're hunting, that uh, the Oni has a tail, they don't flicker as much. So we know what it is. It's an Oni. Interesting ghost that has changed a lot. So, what can we do now? Um, escape the ghost here and hunt. So, we have to trigger a hunt for that. Um, let's see, what did we get again? Oh, the Ouija board. Um, can actually trigger the ghost hunt with that thing. Okay, we got a photo, we got a three-star interaction, okay. 
Ideally, you want to get a ghost photo too, because that's worth Mondo bucks. I just jumped up to five. Okay, it was another action photo. Now the Ouija board asking you questions will lower our sanity. There's even an option to start a hunt called hide and seek. You will be trolled with it. Um, I'm just going to take a picture. Keep it simple. That way we have our five photos. Not the best five photos. Alright, so we got all that. Now... Trigger a hunt so we can... Let's do... Yeah, that... So, turning on lights with the keyboard. Some of the cursed possessions you don't want to use in the ghost's room. Uh, the Ouija board is the oldest cursed possession. You basically can literally ask it questions and get information. So, this out. I don't know, actually. Spot. Alright. Where are you? F. Who's in the fray air? Goodbye. Good to hide in the dark. It's locker here. The hunt's over. I'm the amateur, it's pretty quick. But you could hear it walking around. If it had seen us, it touched us, it killed us. He escaped the hunt. Now, our sanity is below 50% from that question we asked, so... I escaped the ghost during the hunt. Actually, don't we fudge that one because it had to have seen us for that. But we're down to 36%. We'll try again. So, give it another shot. Most in the free air, so we want it to see us when it hunts. We still want to be able to get away. safe. Turn off all the lights once it's a hunt. Wandering through the dark here. Did that count? I don't know. Let's get out of here. Got our photos. We identified our ghost. Back in the truck. Everybody has to be in the truck. We're dead before you can stop the investigation. Okay, here's our photos. Make sure everybody selected ghost, multiplayer, everybody that doesn't select it. I mean, everybody has to select the same one for it to work. Um, so, okay, it's still doing stuff in there, but it can't hunt while we're outside, so. Hit the keypad.
Welcome back. I've prepared some jobs for you. So we get our screen here. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I guess we fudged that one thing, but we did guess the ghost type. And we got money for the bone, we got money for investigation, times one rewards, higher difficulty, we'll increase that, photos. And then we got one of the daily, which play contracts for $5. So we got some uh, XP plus ghost type, Oni, we're right. Ghost summary, interactions, events, hunts, time we spent in the ghost room, time in light, time in dark. Uh, total time investigating, so almost 14 minutes. Um, details, we can get more details here. Travel, since gain, lost. Phrases recognized, all this information. Ghost, information about it. So, light switched, and, and it did actually turn the box off once, so that, that it never changed its favorite. It's on amateur, its abilities. Gave one hunt to Hunt duration is 30 seconds, so it did 15 seconds what it can do in amateur. The time it was in its room, but it also did spend some time out of the room, which uh, in both the hunt time and it was wandering. So there you go, that's the first game of Phasmophobia.